Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is road to the final day on FIFA Ultimate Team. The loading screen is here. Um, actually, the last time I loaded in, it didn't show, but we are getting the road to the final promotion today. Do we have a loading screen still? They, they seem to like take these away and put the loading screens in. We do have a loading screen. Um, I can confirm that it was there. I can show you on Twitter basically what the loading screen is. EA Sports FIFA has it on their Twitter today. This is the loading screen that you can see on FIFA right now. I don't know why it's not showing up for me. UCL Road to the Final Promotion is coming out Friday. Today, we're getting that promo. Um, and I want to talk you guys through what I see happening today in terms of some market movements, some general market analysis, market um, trends that I think we should see today. And um, kind of talk about how they're doing this promo and talk about Road to the Final itself because some people might need a refresher on this promo. So this promo is basically entirely centered around Champions League. As you guys very well do know, these are last year's frequently asked questions. I assume they'll structure it the same way because it was a big success for them last year. Uh, these cards were so fun to trade with throughout the year because they fluctuated so much because people love Champions League and these cards that they chose last year were awesome cards that had um, very good player selection and they were on, they you know, they were, the positions of the player selection they were in, they were very usable cards. Fabinho, um, Dominson Sanchez became one of the very OP center backs in the Prem. Sterling was a good outside mid. Griezmann, a beast card. Um, you know, Ronaldo Sanchez, Lingard. Uh, for all types of budgets, these cards were very used last year in FIFA. So again, this is what happens. Road to the final cards are not upgraded by their individual performance. None of these guys had to perform good in games to get their cards boosted. It's all about the team performance. And as you see for a lot of the squads in here, a lot of the guys had from each team, there were two players. You have two Spurs players um, in both sides of the team. You had a Aurier in the second team uh, and Sanchez. Uh, you had Sterling and Aguero both in the first team. Um, you've got, who else do you have in here? You have Sanchez and Lingard both from United. Um, so you have multiple teams in here that were or multiple guys in this team that were represented by the same team. Um, so they put the big boys in this promo because they know these cards are going to get updated and people are going to want to use them and open packs. That's the whole point. They put in good cards for this promo because they know people are going to open packs. So you're going to see some of the top players on foot in this promo today on Friday. So here it goes. A player can receive a maximum of seven upgrades throughout the season. So this is how it goes. The Champions League upgrades, they get upgraded by advancing to the knockout stage, winning in the first leg of the round of 16, and then winning that second game gets them another boost, advancing to the corner final, advancing the semifinal, and advancing to the final and winning the final as well. So a lot of players will get boosted the first time or the first two times because all you have to do for the first two is get to the knockout stage or you have to win the first leg of the knockout stage and additionally for those players that get knocked out of the knockout stages they have a chance to go down to europa league so right here, what happens if a player's team finishes third in the UEFA Champions League group stage? If the player item will be updated to a U UEFA Europa League road to the final, they will not receive a plus one upgrading for, for advancing to the knockout stage, but will continue to receive upgrades if their club advances to other stages of the competition. So basically, Homsic and Perisic from last year, they went to the Europa League and they continue to get a couple up, upgrades. Um, some other cards last year that were very hyped up in the second batch of UCL Lives because they were down in the Europa League was Ben Yedder and Kadogba. Don't know if you remember those cards, but they were hyped up a lot because they went down to Europa League, their teams performed well, and they got a lot of updates. So it's an equivalent of an inform upgrade each time, and the player does not have to play. Again, it is the team advancing that makes them get uh, the boost. Uh, and then the dynamic images change as well. And actually, it says, how long will it take for the attribute boost to be applied? Take a few hours to update in-game. There was some conspiracies with this last year. Sometimes they were very slow on updating the statistics on these cards, and that made trading with them and their prices on the market fluctuate a lot and they were so fun to trade with because of that right there so these cards are going to be fun to trade with i'm assuming they'll come out with a graph like this again this year um this is obviously the card design from last year this year's card design we'll look at in a second is a little bit different 
um, but it's basically the same. They're going to get um, an inform boost every single time. In this picture right here, it looks like it's plus one each time, but I can confirm that if like this 82 rated Philip card or an 81 rated Philip card will go to an 84, it's an inform boost each and every time that the card moves up in the standing. So again, this is the loading screen that we have right now. I want to take you guys over to um, the actual pack design from Footwatch on Twitter. This is the actual pack design for Champions League. I love like the, the borders of this card. So now instead of just cards, we have borders on the cards as well. Look at this. We have uh, like the star from the Champions League star around the outside of the car design it looks dope um, i like what they did with this car design it's pretty similar to last year but it looks sick in my opinion and then the europa league um, car design looks a little bit different it's very bright i mean that is very very bright that's going to stick out a lot in people's squads on foot um, i mean it's going to kind of look like a gold card i guess but it's going to look a little different it's just going to it's going to going to spice it up so i think a lot of people are going to like that car design and of course, the uh, the Premier League one looks really good as well. So I'm a fan of that. I'm a big fan of that. So again, I want to talk about some of the things that I think we could see on the market today because of this. At the moment, if we go on foot and check out the index gold, which kind of tells us how the market is doing in terms of gold cards today, you see rewards happened right here. The market dipped and it, the market kind of slowly rose back up during the day, um, but a lot of the meta stuff, a lot of the stuff that we invested in to flip for weekend league awards, it stayed stagnant or even went down. So there was a lot of people that broke even or lost coins on tax or just lost coins in general today from Thursday flipping, which is very unfortunate and it doesn't happen very often, but people knew this promo was coming and they anticipated it. And a lot of people weren't buying today for whatever the case was. Probably that repeatable SPC has something to do with with it as well. So I think prices are going to, again, stay pretty stagnant leading up into the promo today. I would be, you know, I would be on the lookout, look out for some panic stuff that you would look to buy before the actual promo comes out today, Friday at 6 PM would be some of these out of packs in forms and out of pack special cards, because if they fluctuate a lot and they go down a lot, um, they're out of pack. So they're not going to get packed uh, today when these new road to the final cards are coming out. So watch the panic leading up until the promo release at 6 p.m. UK um, with these cards and watch their prices. If you see some big dips, just kind of know their prices. Like if you see James Rodriguez right now, he's at 310. If you see some panic tomorrow and he's like 280, that would be a situation, <coughs> excuse me, where I would say that might be a good look for that card. He could very easily rebound back up to 310 in no time because he's a hype card in this game you got the big pace boost with the scream card and stuff like that and scroll through the informs as well uh just because you know a lot of people like informs in this game some of the most popular meta informs wynaldum maybe a lucas digne maybe um uh, Lewandowski. some of those guys that are the most popular informs that people use do core um Nine Golan, Ben Yedder, Di Maria, Griezmann, Dybala, Semedo, stuff like that. Just watch some of those informed prices today in the pre 6 p.m. release time panic. See if there's any price movements there. Maybe pick a few up to flip after because I think that cards will go up in the nighttime after this promo. People with all the panic selling today and yesterday, they're gonna buy. They're gonna buy their teams back at some point for weekly, right? So. Tomorrow, after the, the first couple hours of that promo, I think you might start to see some of the buyback and cards going up after the promo into the evening. So watch out for that. Watch out for these ones to watch cards as well. Obviously, if we have some panic on some of these, some of these guys play on Saturday. Some of these guys play on Sunday. If you see some, uh, if you see some panic tomorrow, could be an opportunity to pick some of them up and uh, flip them on Saturday into the pregame hype when people buy up ones to watch cards because they think they're going to have a good game or whatever that may be. So pick a few out, maybe like a Holler, maybe Lozano, maybe a Joe Ellington. Um, one of the guys that fluctuates every week is some somebody that you're going to want to focus on, uh, maybe Brandt as well, uh, maybe even Coutinho. Just look at the games, the matchups they had this week, watch some of those cards, could be good for flips leading up into the 6 p.m. hype. Now I want to look back at, uh, at one thing really quick over on Twitter, I think. Let me find it really fast. Um, they are going to be releasing these cards um, during the reveal of the live stream. So as it says here, the exclusive reveal of the Road to the Final Players 
will be on the Foot Champions live stream tomorrow. So they we're having the pro event tomorrow. I don't know if you guys realize that. I talked about it in my video yesterday. There is a pro event going on this weekend, um, and they're going to be releasing those cards during the actual live stream on twitch.tv backslash esports fifa so make sure you follow that account um, and you will be able to watch some of these um, cards be revealed they did this last year i think with a uh, team of the season it was they revealed some of these cards that they were going to put out during team of the season via an, uh, a video type format on a stream so watch that again today that might cause some market movements depending on if those cards coming out are really hyped up they have good stats and stuff like that. So watch that. And of course, stay tuned to Twitter. I'm sure they'll be having people tweet out those cards that are going to be released as well. So stay tuned to that. Um, and I want to talk about a few more things regarding the market later in the day. This SBC still concerns me here in the store, the 81 plus UCL double upgrade. A lot of people are doing this SBC and you can tell because if you go on the market and look at the index 83s, um, a lot of 80, 83s right now are like 2,000 coins, right? 2,200 coins. They still continue to go up because people are doing this SBC a lot. And it honestly makes me sick because people are paying. This SBC costs you like 20K, over 20K to do because you have to turn in an 83 rated squad. Footbin says that this SBC is 20,000 coins. You're spending 20,000 coins per SBC to get like an 82 or an 83 rated UCL player most of the time. This is not worth it. But people are continuing to do this because people are addicted to SBCs, man, and they love testing the packs and trying to get something good out of packs. So the fact that this is still in packs for one day, 14 hours, uh, it scares me a little bit for tomorrow. And I think that could hamper the market rebound tomorrow in the evening because some people are going to put money in for packs for this new promo and they're going to go use that money to go open more of those upgrade packs. So that might hurt some of the rise in the market tomorrow. I still think the market's going to rise up in terms of those meta players, you know, players that people use all the time for weekend league, you know, Varan, maybe um, some other guys like Ling Lei could be a decent shout. It's going to be rebounded, of course. We talked about him with the PK hype. Uh, Varan is, is rebounded nicely just because he's a very, very meta player in this game and he's higher rated and used a lot. Um, maybe somebody who else, another person who could rise, is maybe like a Firmino, of course, your guys like Kevin De Bruyne, um, like a Conte card. Right now, Con Conte is actually up a little bit. I think he's like 400,000 coins, which is where he usually gets to in weekend league. You might see this dip back under 400, but then probably go up above 410, 415 Friday night um, with those cards. But to be honest, I'm going to say for the most part, try to stay away from the gold cards. They might have a lot of fluctuation and a lot of movement, but they're going to be in packs and they're going to get packed a lot tomorrow. And that just increases the, the risk on them that they could dip in price. People could panic sell them more uh, and stuff like that. So I would say if you're going to trade with some cards and look to buy up some cards tomorrow, I would say look in more of the, the team of the week area. Again, look at some of these guys that are very popular in the team of the week. If you want to flip some cards, maybe you see if you can find some uh, Ducores for like low 60s. Uh, right now, I think he's right around, he's above 70K. Wow, he's, how high is this man? Decore is like 75,000 coins. Unbelievable, 77K. So maybe if you see this guy dip under 70 and there's not like a road to the final Sissoko that is in packs, uh, like even if Sissoko gets a road to the final card, people will panic sell this in form. Um, but if that road to the final Sissoko is like 150 to 200K, like really expensive compared to this card, you might see some panic selling on Decore right away when Sissoko gets announced. But then... Um, Ducore's price would probably rise back to normal when people realize, hey, okay, that Sissoko card is uh, pretty expensive compared to some of the other ones. Is this going to get bought right away? It is. Nice little undercut right there. So just watch some of the panic on these cards tomorrow morning as we head into the promo. Stuff like that with the substitute investments. Um, again, if you're looking at icons, um, a lot of icons are going to get used in this weekend's promo uh, or the pro event this weekend, especially this Carlos Alberto. A lot of UCL cards are going to get used this weekend as well. I've seen a ton of blues in people's teams. So just watch some of these icon prices. If you're somebody who wants to get some of these cards in your team, um, tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK with all the packs being opened is probably going to be a great time to look into maybe trying out some of these cards. Maybe you want to try like a Del Piero or something. You know, try to get those guys tomorrow. 
Um, if you be on the market and look for the fresh listings, uh, it's 6 p.m. UK. Like this is the filter that you guys can use depending on your coin budget. Um, if you just want to trade or if you're looking to actually buy an icon for your team, look on a, maybe a filter like this. I'm going to sort 500K with a max buy now of a million since I almost have a million coins. With the basic chem style, it's going to get me to 59th minute faster and it's going to find me cards that people are just freshly packing from opening promo packs, saved rewards or whatever. Boom, we see a right card there, 685. That's not too bad of a deal, actually. Actually, it's not that great, but it's probably a fresh right card back here. It is a fresh right card. So stuff like that is going to be where you might want to look tomorrow if you're on the higher end coin budget. But again, stuff that is out of packs is going to probably rise the best into tomorrow night as we saw again today. Uh, we saw Delaney rise a lot today. Delaney's Team of the Week card um, was 70-something K. Uh, it was, I bought one when Brant came out for team of the week on Wednesday. I saw Brant get in team of the week, or excuse me, Thorgan Hazard. I saw Thorgan Hazard get into team of the week and I went and bought one of these Delaney cards for 57 K. It was like a 2 K undercut, got it on a snipe and it sold for 67 K. And now he's all the way up to 75. So if you see this card tomorrow, maybe get down into the sixties again, maybe mid sixties, he drops like five, six, seven K. That would be a Big time bang and pickup, in my opinion. Uh, it's an out of packs in form. So even a guy like Nine Golan, people are using him. Just watch, just watch and see what happens this weekend in terms of what cards come out. Um, you know, links to some of those cards. Uh, the road to the final cards are going to be popular because people are going to want to put them in their teams. They're going to want to try them. They're going to be another set of boosted cards coming on to this game um, and stuff like that. So that's what I would be very eerie and very careful of is just watching some of the prices on the market, the possibility for them to drop with the gold cards. If we get lightning rounds tomorrow, you're going to see a lot of the guys like Lucas, uh, like Lucas Rashford and some of the 83s, 84s that have been holding a higher price range, even a guy like Sissoko. I think, Rash or I think Lucas is like 30K right now. You might see a guy like Lucas really, really take a hit tomorrow if they do lightning rounds, which they haven't done lightning rounds for this promo in the past. First lightning rounds have come during Black Friday. But if you see that happen, keep your eyes out for some big time dipping of prices on some of these 83s uh, or maybe even like a Furlan Mendy, something like that, as these cards are still pretty inflated uh, for their rating. Lucas Sissoko is like 30,000 coins as an 81 rated card, which is still pretty crazy in my opinion. So watch out for some of that as well. If we get lightning rounds, these guys will definitely get hit in price. And watch the prices of the road to the final cards um, when they come out in the game uh, today. So I remember looking at this team last year. I remember vividly that these road to the final cards, nobody knew how to value them right away. Dominson Sanchez, when he first came on, I, I was looking at this card on stream just a few hours ago before recording this. If you look at this graph, he was 167K at his cheapest point before he went out of packs. Dominson Sanchez, when he was first pack, I was on the market at this time. I remember seeing this card listed at 120,000 coins and even some cards under 100K on Snipe because people didn't know how much these cards were really going to be worth. It was, yes, a boost, but a lot of people had saved packs and a lot of people were opening them right then at 6 p.m. UK ton of supply was coming on the market and the packed weight seemed the pack weight seemed pretty heavy so we're gonna have to watch some of those cards watch and see the pack weight again some of the trading right away in the first hour or two with these cards is going to be fun they might rise overnight but again the pack weight is a big thing to look so tomorrow when we get promo packs go in here to the promo packs click on the options button and look at the pack weight and see what it says for the road to the final cards and uh really take that into consideration with how you start to trade with those cards because the screams were very rare. The screen percentage was less than 1%. And if it's that way for these road to the final cards, which I don't think it will be because last year they had a lot of supply. But if it's similar, uh, you're going to see a lot of these cards on the market. Maybe they're they're cheap. They're low at first as people realize what's going on with them. They could rise. So depending on if you're, if you're on the market, these cards are going to fluctuate a lot. I mean, it's just the way that they are. They are live items uh, with Champions League. So we're going to start watching these cards really soon. And you're going to start to see people talking about investing in them out of packs because a lot of these cards boomed out of packs right away. But also, I think the, the rise this year is going to be a little bit less because 
Uh, like you look at Ronaldo Sanchez, who's 123K. You hold him for a couple weeks and boom, all of a sudden he's 209,000 coins. I don't think the rises are going to be as significant this year because last year was the first year for a promo and people didn't really fully realize what was going on with these cards or exactly how in demand they were actually going to be. So obviously this year we know more about them. I doubt that the rises will be as drastic concerning the market this year and stuff like that. But we'll just keep an eye out for them. We'll see what happens and uh, we'll be ready to adjust to whatever this market and whatever EA brings us. Other content I think we could see today in terms of Road to the Final content, I think we'll get a player SBC today. They have been releasing player SBCs on the first day of the promo Basically, every day for Scream, the first day for Scream, um, we got Draxler for the second week, and we got um, Jesus Navas and Milner, right? Was it Milner? On the first day of the first week of Scream. So they've been putting out SBCs on the first day of the promo every single time. So I would watch out for a road to the final card. If you want to do a club stock with some of the low rated, you know, 82 through 83 or 84, 85, 86 rated golds, be my guest. Go do a club stock, get a few of them in the club just to be safe. And we could see player of the month again in the morning as well. So be careful with that. If you're some of the guys who have player of the month investments, watch your informs. Um, if you're selling on the hype, which I think is a smart thing to do, go ahead and, and do that. Um, but it should be a fun day tomorrow on Footman. Road to the final is here. Very fun promo. We're going to be watching these cards for the rest of the year in foot. I mean, until Champions League is over, these cards are going to be used in teams. Uh, and it's a fun promo. It really is. So uh, I'm hoping for a fun day on foot tomorrow. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Uh, thank you guys for the continued support on all, all these YouTube videos. It is mental, uh, all the support that you guys do show. All right, boys, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.